planning on taking a trip to Connecticut tomorrow to visit family, but I guess that trip down. Um, I, I mean, don't do this you can go. Just give it a few hours in the morning. It's going to be a rough commute tomorrow. Morning. Okay, take it slow. Yeah, <laughs> certainly. Well, we're looking at the traffic map right now, and there's not too many issues, but we're certainly seeing some slowdowns, especially along portions of I-89. This is kind of a notoriously bad spot. You gain a little elevation above a thousand feet, and here we are around Northfield. Traffic's moving about 40 miles per hour. Same thing goes for parts of I-87 over New York. 39 mile per hour movement here just on the uh, northbound side here of North Hudson. So travel is bad in the high elevations. That's what we expected. Still hanging on to those rain showers, though, in the Champlain Valley and along Route 7 as well. You can see that cutoff, though, between the rain showers and then the sleet and snow as you head up Route 4 and on the other side, eastern side of the Green Mountains, I should say. Here comes the heavier burst of precipitation. We've been expecting this to come in around midnight, and it's moving into southern Essex County right now with some heavy snow. I think this is going to be our one of our best chances in the lower elevations to get a couple of inches of slushy snow accumulation. You could see the dark blues over the Champlain Valley 1 a.m. to uh, I guess in just a couple hours. I was going to say tomorrow morning. But uh, yeah, that's probably the best shot for a couple of slushy inches. It'll be hard to change over right near Lake Champlain, though. I think it'll be back and forth between rain and snow just about all night. Now tomorrow it dries out a little bit, especially the farther south you are. But snow showers will continue across northern areas. It may be rain showers in the valley initially, but as colder air comes in Monday evening, it'll change back over to snow showers. So a little upslope action on the west western side of the Green Mountains, perhaps into the St. Lawrence Valley as well, which would give us maybe additional inch or two or so tomorrow evening. So it's sort of a spread out long duration event, but uh, the power outages are already starting to come in for the high elevations. So let's show you the additional snowfall into tomorrow. Right now we're thinking two to four for uh, the St. Lawrence Valley there, an additional four to eight around the Dannemora area. I know there's already five or six inches there, but it is coming down about two to four for Saranac Lake, Lake Placid, and Tupper Lake. Same thing goes for Newcomb, Scroon Lake, North Hudson, up through Westport, and two to four inches up north near Plattsburgh, Champlain as well. St. Albans included in that two to four, and just a couple of slushy inches near Burlington, points south toward Middlebury. Of course, it's a lot more once you go east of the Green Mountains, especially with that elevation. Eight to 12 in the high elevations close to Jay. Eight to 12 additionally in Island Pond, about four to eight St. Jay, two to four Montpelier, and of course Randolph, always in a snowy spot there, four to eight inches more, four to eight near Killington, two to four for Lebanon Springfield area. I think the upper valley, there's just less precipitation to go around, so the snow totals won't be quite as impressive, especially as you head farther south near Brattleboro, two to four inches though for the Mount Snow area, about a dusting to two as you head down Route 7 from Rutland to Manchester. So all in all, it's really not a huge storm for the low elevations by any means, but it certainly is a problem for the high elevations that are going to be seeing those power outages build up. So we'll have a fresh update for you uh, coming up at 11, I guess after the game ends at 1130. So tomorrow's sort of a transition day. We'll have rain showers in the morning, changing to snow showers by the evening. We hit about 37, so cleanup will be super easy tomorrow, especially the lower in elevation you are. 27, though, tomorrow night, so whatever is left over over that's still wet will almost certainly freeze over. So travel could get rough even tomorrow night into Tuesday morning. Certainly some black ice left over. So don't totally let your guard down, even though the bulk of the system comes through tonight. Tuesday, a lot of clouds hanging around, and there will be some lingering flurries in the mountains, especially for the first half of the day. Then it just turns downright cold on Wednesday, barely peeking into the 20s there. And it'll be a very slow clearing day, thinking that there'll be a lot of clouds, maybe some breaks of sunshine by the afternoon. But then, little weather whiplash for you. We warm right back up into the 40s by next weekend.